Hello, my name is Roland Weigand. I'm working for the microelectronics section at ESA. It's an exciting time at the moment because the first prototypes of the next generation European Space Microprocessor are undergoing testing. Their improved performance will extend the capabilities of our missions for a long time to come. The name of this new microprocessor is the next generation microprocessor. It's a quad-core design, four Leon 4 cores, just a bit like uh, uh, the microprocessors now commonly found in commercial devices like mobile phones or game consoles and so on, but especially made to survive in the harsh space environment. The space industry needs specially radiation-hardened designs for its missions, and that's why ESA has, has got involved into chip design for a long time, since the 1990s resulting in thousands of Spark microprocessors flying in space. The next generation microprocessor has been developed by Kopham Geisler in Sweden in collaboration with ESA's microelectronics section. It is being manufactured by ST Microelectronics in France, so it is a predominantly European supply chain. It's a good thing to know that something started here at ESA has evolved into a thriving business, providing vital comp components to Europe's space industry and also outside of Europe. But it will take some efforts before flight parts are ready. The next step is qualification, for instance, performing radiation tests and reviewing uh, the packaging designs. Once this component is ready, each of our missions will be able to use it and multiple times in platform and in payloads and making our mission smarter than ever before. <laughs>